going down that morning in this mod and how you feel? We had a curfew that was put in place last night to this morning and today the Honourable Prime Minister declared Norwood, section of Norwood as a zone of special operation. So as you see we have the various checkpoints set up, manned by military and police personnel and we will be here trying to restore some order to the community. The recommendation was made by the Chief of Defense and the Commissioner of Police and the Prime Minister did um, act on it by declaring the zone. Over time we have seen in, um, increasing gang warfare, incidents of shooting and violence and uh, some not respecting the, 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 the rule of law and the safety of persons. So it was necessary for the security forces to have this presence here. So we continue, we are setting up, ensuring that all the checkpoints are, are manned and if you have gone through the community, we have seen where various things are happening. I know that um, some things will be done initially as we advance this operation that we launched today. No, it's not really for the small place, but it's a difficult terrain. We have been having some challenges in St. James. I think last year we recovered um, record numbers of illegal firearms. How oh, confident are you that this operation will break the back of the lawlessness that is creating the law and so on? So we agree set of terrain and that's why it's declared as one of special operations. When they look at the statistics for St. James and we are seeing some increase in numbers and most of the numbers, um, this community has been the main contributor in pushing those numbers. We know they seize a lot of firearms and we know there are a lot of persons here that they would have an interest in. So we would not come into a space if we don't believe we can have an impact on safety and security. So as we progress with, the, with, with our operations and we know a big part of the zones of special operation is the social intervention component. So I know another team will be coming into that aspect of it and we will continue to ensure that we keep the areas um, safe for them to execute and to implement the various measures. Well, the fact of the matter is that um, we believe that um, the Zozo is very important to this community because there are certain aspects of the Zozo, as a matter of fact, all the aspects of the Zozo are very welcoming. We're not only looking at police coming in and putting up barricades, we want to also look at the development aspect of the community. We want the various agencies of the state to come in and see what they can do for the citizens of the community because crime just don't happen overnight there's a lot of build up there's a lot of different issues that contribute to the development of crime in the area and so we want the agencies to come in to see if they can give the youth some training and um, create some employment and 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 so what they can do to assist the people because this community is a very nice community. We have decent people live here, but we need help in the community with jobs, with training, etc. etc. because all these things contribute to crime as well. Without giving in away any intelligence secret, um, what level of cooperation have you been getting from? Because these people in these places tend not to want to talk. Well, it's early days, it's just day one. We expect that the citizens are going to probably take away that approach to see if they can warm up to the security forces, which I have no doubt that they will because all the other zones that we have worked in, it's a similar pattern we have seen where initially people not sure what's happening so you see the apprehension, but over time they come to love the benefit and want the benefit that even if they hear that the security forces are going to be withdrawn from a particular space, they are very upset about it and willing protest so we know that over time and we know that the police and the, and the military persons they were already briefed so we expect them to carry their job with the highest level of professionalism a big part of the, the zones of special operations to ensure that the, the, the human rights aspect of each member that they encounter is given the, the, the level of respect and treated the way how they are supposed to be treated as a human being and in keeping with their rights as citizens. So all of that, we believe, have been done a couple of zones of operations. We have had some lessons learned. So the more we do it, is the better we get at it. So I am confident that we will see